everyone, this is Randall from Imperial Minis, and welcome back to the channel. For this battle report, I'll be playing a local player named Jeff at Goldmine Games in Richmond, Texas. The Goldmine is a fantastic local game store, and has more inventory of A Song of Ice and Fire products than any other shop in the whole Houston metro area. I'll put a link to their store in the description if you want to check them out. I filmed this game during a demo day event that I was putting on at Goldmine. I had just purchased some Golden Company units the week prior, and I was excited to try them out. As an ancient history buff, whenever I see war elephants, I simply cannot resist putting as many of them on the table as I can. So to that end, I'll be running a pure Golden Company list with Roose Bolton as my commander. There wasn't a ton of thought put into this list outside of elephants smash, more elephants good. Uh, and there were really only so many ways to put together a two elephant list for neutrals, since the combat unit point requirement for two elephants is 28 points. So I opted for a roost list with four combat units and two NCUs. But I could have also taken Ramsey Commander instead and had four combat units and three NCUs. Jeff is running a Victorian Greyjoy list, but he also felt the urge to play a Pachyderm. He purchased his boxes of Golden Company units moments before our game and put them straight on the table. His list will feature one Golden Company Swordsman and one War Elephant. Aside from that, he's taking two bowmen to pepper my advance with arrows, and one trapper unit to, to tie up one of my more expensive units. Jeff is also bringing three NCUs to my two, so he'll have a total activation count of eight to my six. So quick technical note before we get started. For this game, I have added some rules callouts whenever there was something that either I or Jeff forgot uh, to take into consideration when playing. Um, it probably will be something we do going forward because um, I think it's helpful. I know whenever I'm watching a video and I see something that was done incorrectly, it'll kind of nag at me. Um, but when somebody puts a call out in the video or mentions it, it kind of alleviates my OCD a little bit. So um, it's probably something I'll continue doing. If there's anything I forgot to mention or a rule that I uh, got wrong and didn't call out, feel free to mention it in the comments. With that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right. Draw three. Alright, I will start off by taking Peter and putting him on the letter and just doing that, not Okay. Not doing any Peter shenanigans. Oh, I uh, need objective tokens. Oh, I need little markers for these chaps. I'll put a weekend token on this uh, archer back there. Mm -hmm. Three horror tokens, two. I'm just going to use these. We're going to put, we're going to take Roddy Roddy Piper and we're going to take. That was not smart on my part. I guess he's going to take that. To let a unit go friendly. So I put them so close together. Well, you can pivot over a unit. You can pivot over a friendly unit. You just you can't can pivot, stop. pivot through them, but you can't stop. So when I do that, I'm actually on that unit. Okay. That unit should have been back about another half inch or so. So. Mm. Uh, regardless, uh, I'm just going to use ho waste horse to give myself room to maneuver. <laughs> and I am going to use one of Roddy's tokens to, is that start a turn? Begins the game, start of any turn. Oh, next turn I'll do it. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to play Spoils of War. Start of a friendly turn, attach this card to a friendly cavalry or infantry unit until the end of the game. While attached, each time an enemy in short range is destroyed, place one order token on this card. And the unit's melee attacks gain the following based on the number of order tokens. Uh, Groovy. Number one, when they attack something, that unit becomes vulnerable. And then two tokens, they get plus one to hit. So nice. I'm just going to put it on Bruce's unit. Sounds um, good. And then... Just take Tycho and 
drop them right there. Yep, block me out from doing that, yep. taking that token off. Got yes, it. Sir. Cool. Uh, so start a turn. I'm going to use Roddy's thing to get rid of one, shuffle it back in, take two back. And we're going to move the Elephant. Uh, what did they move? Six, twelve, Six. twelve. So I always carry a back an inch, whatever mm -hmm. I'm measuring. So uh, he would, move, if I move the full thing, he'll be up here somewhere. Uh, but I don't think we're going to. So he'll be right about there. Okay. And then spin it in a little bit. There you go. Can activate this elephant right over here. Okay. He's going to maneuver. And just waddle up to here. Sounds good. I'm gonna march them ten inches. I don't know what cards I got. I guess I should look at that. We'll activate Ramsey okay. and just have him keep pace with the elephant. Like it. Like so. I'm going to put finger dance on them. And Newt's unit is going to just uh, come up five or wherever they need to get to. Uh, they'll just go up, they'll march, and then pivot in right behind the Oliphant. All right. Need to magnetize these. Something awful. All right, I'm going to maneuver this elephant. Pivot. The elephants should really ignore terrain. They should what? They should ignore terrain. Yeah, you'd think they could step over most of it. So maybe the bog. Five. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we might as well march. We'll go six, seven out of our possible ten. Or nine, actually. Okay, my last activation is Roos. Going to pivot. Move five. Okay. And that's it for me. Uh, I guess the spruce roost is going to activate and put a token on this Ollie font right there. Okay. And then take crown and make him take a test. Okay. At minus one. At minus one. So he will be a seven. Just roll it here. Passes. Do you want to re-roll? Oh, uh, use the panic token. Re-roll that four. Four. Okay. All right. Still good. Still Looks good great. Four. And you're done. I'm done. Yeah. All right. Vicky Vale's unit's going to come up and just line up with Asha. And he doesn't have any of the cool stuff, just Surge. Okay. And Swords does nothing. We are going to switch that out to get an extra token on Wendy. All right, sounds good. That's all for you? That's it. All right. End of round. I'm going to play an end of round card. Okay. Meticulous planning. Search your tactics deck for one commander tactics card and add it to your hand shuffle your tactics deck so this goes in my discard pile cool and i'll look for a roost card
first turn, so I have to select first. And I'm going to do, at the end of the round, you may expend two condition tokens to get from each combat unit and get a point for each. I'll play the when an enemy NCU claims the sword or the letter. Score, cool. score a point. Um, we're going to do Spruce Roost first. Going to drop a token on them. And we're going to move these archers. There you go. Okay. And I put a token on your swordsman. Okay. Um, did you, is he still there? Or you, you used that to move them, right? Yep. Used him to move them. Okay. I'm going to take Tycho, drop him on the letter. I'll drop him on the crown. Yep. And I will zap these guys over here. Looks good. You want it in there? Or? I just throw it on the table. Uh, I think they will fail because they are yeah, an eight. They're eight. So three. Three, three wounds. Yay! Auspicious way to start. <laughs> All right. Um, Mr. Oh, I guess I can collect these. And yeah. Roderick's going to take bag. Okay. Before and you claim a zone, I'm going to play Whispered Threats. Yep. So when an enemy NCU activates, if that NCU claims a zone this turn, after resolving that zone's effect, target one enemy combat unit, they become vulnerable. Then target one enemy combat unit, they become panicked. So nice, and you can, can you can target the same yeah, one. Yeah, tar target the same one. Yep. All right. Still going to put them over there? Sure. Okay. And we're just going to heal this unit back up. Okay. There we go. I'll, uh, I'll make these guys panicked and vulnerable. like it. I'm going to take Peter, and I'm going to put him on here, which gives you a point. And I'll have him zone replace uh, to do the letter. Yep. So I'll draw two. And then I'll put a weaken token back on these guys. Alrighty then. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, game momentum. And that is their activation. Okay. to the Ramsey's unit. Mm -hmm. He's just going to maneuver. Yep. Stay off the 
Yep, stay off the hedge. All right, we're gonna war cry the Oliphant. Okay. On a five, and it's good. All right. I didn't so need to roll that one. Panicked and vulnerable. Yep. Okay. And we will then activate the Oliphant. And he's gonna, he's gonna move over a little bit here. I will activate the Elephant. The elephant in the room. Loses one inch, right? Yeah, loses one inch. Just trying to see if I can pivot him. Yeah. Yep, so he'll good. move over there and just pivot off of the Looks good. Off the bush. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to march to there and spin it in a little bit. That is theirs. This was definitely not the right deployment for them. <laughs> a, little, a little crowded over there. A little bit. Go with Roos's unit. Moving over here. Cool. Um, Windermere is going to take letters, giving you a point. And do I want to change that or keep it? No, I'm going to change it. Uh, or I'm keeping it. Excuse me. So here's my two cards. And let's put a weakness token on. Does a weakness token do anything to an elephant? Yeah, they could, I mean, Four you don't roll defense dice, but if you weaken my attack and I only hit you a couple times, then... Plus one attack it. die, it's not plus one hit. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's put it on the... Okay. Okay, I've just got this guy to go. Counts as eight ranks, doesn't he? No, he just counts as he, he counts as eight ranks for the purposes of contesting. Okay. But he's only like as far as like wounds, like when you charge me or I charge you with an elephant, it's yeah. still just one. Like he just okay. counts as one rank. But for contesting, it's based on the wounds. Then let's go ahead. Well, they've already got a vulnerable token on them, so let's drop finger dance on them, or we'll shoot them. So we'll okay. put a vol token on them. And I want to shift back a little bit. I could do a smidge. 
Oh, actually, it's from here. I don't think I can do a smidge. I've actually got to shift forward a little bit. There it is, right there. All right. Um, here, I'll pull that off and let you use your pretty tokens. All right, I think I got six shots on you with no rerolls. Okay, so Bowman, Bowman shooting the Golden Company. Uh, six dice on four, so no rerolls. Yep. Weakness token me? Yeah, what'd you get? You got four? Yeah, yep. I'll weaken that. There you go. I'll keep these missiles. I'm just going to set them into the outside. And three. Three. Okay. Uh, three on four plus. Save one, take two. Oh, uh, uh, oh you want a vulnerable? Nope. No? Nah. Okay. So, Got the points at the end. Then um, panic on a five plus. Oof. Ah, uh, yep, we're gonna let that sit. So two, uh, four. And now to put a token pillage token on the trappers. Oh, we're powered up now. Uh, I guess card play. Uh, that was their action. So I could have re-rolled this with this card. I'll try to remember that next time. Um, so I have a card that says I can re-roll morale test rolls. Go ahead. So that, now the panic test, so all panic tests are morale tests, but not yep. all, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do it next time. I'll have to just remember. I've, this is the first time I've ever played this deck, so I'm uh, having to read the cards a lot. Yeah, no, that's no problem. And um, honestly, I don't care if you do. It's fine. You that's can okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just remember better next time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, I've got them left. How's Vicky feeling? I like that weakened token over there, but I'd like to put another one on you. You're a little further away than I want to deal with. Now, how's that charge for you? It's a big 10 inch and out of range there. You'll have to do some sneaky stuff. So, you need a six, seven, eight, nine. They're actually just going to pivot back, move, cut, move an inch or so back and basically pivot back forward and we'll give you a long 12. Okay. All right, I think that is the round. Okay. You have the option of, because that would go back to your turn, so you have the first option for removing tokens uh, for victory points. Oh, okay. Um, you have, this unit can definitely get you yeah. a point. I'll, I'm just going to leave those on them. And I will leave it, you have first phase. Yeah, first player goes to me, these two get discarded. I'll take one point. Wait, this was your card, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nope, I'm going to leave those on. Okay. 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 And uh, I'm going to play an end of round. Okay. It's meticulous planning. Same thing I did before where I can go to my deck, pull out a commander card. Sounds good. Shuffle the deck. Okay, I'm gonna play mission 12. At the end of each, at the end of the round, for each objective you control, score one point. Well, I was going to do that. I am not going to do that now. <laughs> uh, first person to claim a tactic zone. Okay. Your opponent gets a point. Yeah, I do not want them. How oh, psychologically making all the objectives score would be interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm up first. I will take Tycho, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to give you a point. Put him on the letter. Yep. Uh, how, many cards, and, um, how many cards do you have? I have five. So if I drew two, I'd have to discard two. But I'm just going to... Well, you can still draw two. Yeah, and, and then just figure discard. It out and yeah. Disc yeah, discard yeah. down. Oh, oh you're, doing, yeah, you're doing Tycho. Just trying to figure it out. Two. 
just going to keep what I've got. And I'll give a weekend token to put it on your elephant. Yep. All right, back to you. Ash is going to war cry the other unit. Um, uh, I'm going to play a start of any turn. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Replace one condition token on any one unit with any other condition token. If you control the letter, you may remove one condition token from one unit to any other unit. So okay. I'm going to move this uh, vulnerable and put it on okay. uh, your elephant. All right. Awesome. I like it. All right. Back to you. Uh, War cry. Okay. Pretty sure we're winning 12. Yeah. On a five, got it. Everybody gets tokens. And I think now I'm taking swords. Okay. With, we'll do it with the Roosy Goosey. And put a panic token on the Oliphant over here. Okay. Everybody gets tokens. We're gonna make them shoot. Okay. Um, nobody else has moved, so I don't think we need to shift anywhere. Uh, so we're going to put a vulnerable token on there from finger dance and do the same verse that we did before. Okay. So Bowman shot the golden company swordsman, got two hits and I save on fours, and two misses and then a panic on a five. Right, we will make you reroll the four. Okay. Uh, oh, it was there. that one was there. <laughs> so two. two. Um, let me double check, see if I have anything here. Uh, da, 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 da. Back to you. Okay, I am gonna take Peter and drop him on the bag. Yep. Heal him up. Store some guys. Yep. Come on in. I like how the Golden Company swordsmen are. Uh, they're age inclusive. You know, they put a uh, retiree in there. Nice. In their ranks. And You're then gonna... uh, remove the vulnerable from them. Cool. You're gonna finger dance Asha's unit. Okay. Uh... I don't know if that's good or not, but it's what we've done. And I think we I think Roderick's going to take horse. Okay. I'm going to play the whispered threats again. Yep. That's if you take a take a zone, then you, one of your units, or I can put a, a panic and vulnerable out. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Panic vulnerable. I'll give it to these guys. That's good. And we are going to move. I feel like you got something waiting on me. So dangerous. But I don't remember them having any movement shenanigans. But these guys? Yeah. No. Or the, the new deck in general. Not so far that I see. So I don't really don't need to move him. So I uh I forgot to stop this one. Uh oh. So you got a lot of extra. Yep. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is moving this Bowman unit who isn't doing a whole hill of beans otherwise and at least get them where they can cover a little more. This is going to come up a little further. Okay. All right, start of a friendly turn. I'm going to play surprise strategy. 
Discard this card and one other card to return one card from your discard pile to your hand. Yep. If you control the letter, you only have to discard this card. Nice. So discard a card. So you pull. got four cards to pull stuff out of your deck. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Roos gives you two, right? Roos gives me... Um, yeah, what did he have? He had... Uh, that was Meticulous Plenty. That's a base card. That was uh, go, to my, go to my deck and pull a commander card out. Yep. So this is all just... All the, the card draw stuff is all just from the base card. Gotcha. Deck. So I'm going to pull... Uh, Whisper Threats out again. Sounds good. And then I've activated both of those guys, so it's just on yeah. these guys. He is just going to maneuver onto this objective. Yep. Sit there. Yes. Uh, that unit is going to shoot. Three, six. We'll put a vulnerable token on you. From Can finger I dance. trouble you for one of yours? I yeah, yeah. Used uh, all of my wooden ones now. Actually, I've got a bag of them over here. I can just... Yeah. I thought you already had some out. Um, is that just a couple of panic tokens? Uh, just, yeah, it's Roos's panic tokens. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll just... I'm going to expend it here. anyway. I don't know. Just be... Here, we'll just put it back over here when it's expended. Okay, Bowman shot the swordsman and got five hits. So, two, four, five. On four. Same verse. So three. Yep. So I'm just going to take that and move it back over here. All right, I'm um, vulnerable. Save two. So take three. And then panic on a five. Good. You're good this time. So, just took three. where I started the round. And we killed a rank, so... So I forgot to do that last time. They are now full up on pillage tokens. We'll activate this elephant over here. Mm -hmm. He is just gonna scooch over here. Sounds good. All right, I think we're gonna do a windy shift. Over here, get a little closer. I don't be shy. Is that what we wanna do? That is not what we wanna do. We want Oh, you know what? This guy can't control objectives actually. Do you mind if I take no, that? No, no, go ahead. Absolutely. That changes things a little bit. Gonna back up a little bit. There you go, Mr. Oliphant. Stay there. Okay. How far away? So yeah, we will windy shift three inches at the start of the start of the turn. So we are going to cheese and. Nothing's in range to shoot. Pass with them. Pass with the Bowman? Yep. Okay. So I think these guys just need to move up expeditiously. Yeah, they're so five. We're just getting kind of shot to pieces over here. Yep. So they're gonna stay an inch back. They, uh, yeah, just stay there. Actually, sure you want to do that? Just giving them, him a flank. He hasn't activated yet? No. Uh, only two that have activated are the two bowmen. 
Okay. So he was at. He's still at a flank right now. Right about that angle. Yeah. There you go. I want to make it easy. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me. So he wouldn't even be able to charge me if I can keep out of his yep. front arc. Unless a windy shift can get me into the flank. Yeah. Yeah, you can shift them back. Or I could shift them sideways. Yeah. Well, if you shift them sideways, he's still not... I'm still not in your arc at all. So they'd, oh, yeah. you know, they'd have, to be yep, able to, yep, yep. have to be able to see yep. him. You could shift him back. You know, if you shift him back a few inches, then... Uh, I'd be in your in your arc. But then you'd have to. But then at that point you'd have to charge me in the front, and you couldn't fit there anyway. Yep. So um, yeah, they'll just go there because they're just out of your front arc. It's not terrible. Where did? What can you see? Gorgeous. If I windy shift over, I could probably see them because I would put me about there. Yeah, but this would be really nice to start that, these shenanigans as well. Good chance of popping him on the charge. So I think we're going to use that wonderful windy shift. Okay. Um, get a little closer, which will then have, yeah. That is that. He's going to declare a charge. Uh, Vicky Vale is going to charge, and we're going to. Uh, he's charging elephant. Yeah. And we're going to charge. Use ruthless ag rush of aggression. Uh, when I'm doing chart before I roll charge distance, I'll automatically roll a six, gain critical blow, and since this is Vicky's unit, I will not become vulnerable. Okay. Uh, but Vicky will make him vulnerable on the charge from Furious Charge. So definitely in there. He's got an 11-inch charge range. Um, I think I want to be, or make sure that I'm in the flank of what I see. So I think we're going to be right there. See if we get lucky. Um, so let's see how these guys are. You have letter, so that which is irrelevant anyway. Uh, so Sundering, Critical Blow, with a vulnerable token. Sundering with, uh, did they get that from? Uh, naturally. Oh, naturally, right, right. Yep. And then critical blow came from the card. Mm -hmm. Yep. So seven attacks, re-rolling. All right, seven, seven dice, re-rolls, sundering, and critical blow. On threes. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna do another. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, so two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. On fives. On fours. So he's a three plus. Ah, so fours. Yep. Up four plus. Oh shoot. Well, we're definitely blowing that vulnerable token. Okay. Four, six, seven. So he's down to one. One. <laughs> and he's going to be a six plus. Mm -hmm. And do we blow the token? He's a six plus. So breaking him like that, it's going to be difficult. Still have that. So that's fine. Just leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay. Uh, Okay, that is spent. All right, back to you. All right, I am going to pop Tycho's once per game. Heal. And restore, I'm going to split this up here. Um, this has got to have a one. 
one. So I'll give two to these guys, and I'll give three to the elephant. So the elephant will be at four, four. wounds. Let me get these. So he's got four wounds on him right now. And then goes away. Um, then back to me. And so those are on there. All frontal, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, just go cool. make sure I can see everybody. Yep. Stay in the front. All right, he's just going to move over there. Cool. Uh, I'm going to play Assault Orders Okay. with Roderick. I'm going to play uh, this Whisper Threats card again. Okay. The, when NCU activates, I can put the tokens back on you. Do you want to still? Yep. Okay. Um, so it's a panicked and vulnerable. Uh, so your assault ordering is who I even have to go on this guy's. Guys. Everybody's got tokens. <laughs> uh, we're going to assault Vicky's order, Vicky's unit. Okay. And we are going to play when a friendly unit is performing a melee attack. Um, depending on what's selected, so I have, I will get precision from swords, and you have bags, so I will make you vulnerable. Four, five, six. Six. Aren't they uh, seven dice? Yeah, seven dice. Okay. Uh, four, seven. Uh, did you start it? So, yeah, got it. So, seven on, uh, you have precision and no rerolls. Sundering. Sundering. Okay. Um, three, so that one's cocked. There we go. Mm, seven. All right. Oh, shit. And on fours. Yeah, we're definitely going to blow that. Okay. Need one more. Give me one more. Elephant is what for dinner. Elephant is done. And then we're going to pop Vicky's order to make a charge. Was he in uh, line of sight of these guys? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Goes to eight, definitely with them. Was he um, just like, let's, I want to make sure he was actually in the. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's in the flank. Um, well, you're yeah, here. So I guess we actually turn... back a little bit further. This is where you were. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, when I, when I pivot around. Yeah, okay. We'll be up here. So we can get back in the action before too long. And you are already vulnerable, so that's not going to help any. And those are done. And we've got that's out, out. I think that's everything. Seven attacks, same as the first, same as the first. All right, seven on threes uh, with re rolls. 
Six. I got six on uh, your thundering and you're in the flank, so I'm on sixes then. Reroll, use the vulnerable on Sure. Two, six, and then panic on a six, zero five, and you're on my flank. Yep. And we will yeah. roll, force you to reroll that six. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use the worth the risk card when a friendly unit is performing a morale test after rolling the dice. Um, you can reroll dice for this test if you're in short range of commander, which I'm not. I pass it instead. So uh, reroll it. You can reroll the three too, I think. Well, this is morale test, and uh, this is only for panic yeah, tests, so yeah, I don't think I can reroll yeah. that. Okay, hold on. I yep, got it. Good. Uh, take six. And did you give yourself a point for the elephant? Uh, I did not. Okay. Yeah, I'll trade you that. Cool. Uh, this little pilgrim got over there. Gotcha. Okay, uh, that's all that I've got. So I'm activated out. Okay. Uh, they're done. That's all done. This is done. So I've got Supposed to. these two. So. I think we're going to start with the elephant and go ahead and put him in half, and then we'll put the trappers in and let you expend some more tokens. So, elephant's going to go in. We'll get there. Uh, so Is that right? Yeah, uh, four attacks four plus one. Plus one. So, Boy, five dice. Hitting on threes. Five on threes. All right. With the weakness well, token rerolls, doesn't yeah, need a re reroll. Yep. There you go. So three. Oh, pull those out. Okay, so is that uh, just two auto wounds then? Yep. And then panic on a, what is it, a six? With vicious. Vicious, so an eight. Oh, just missed. Um, so you can only take a maximum of two wounds for yep. panic test, so he takes uh, a total of four then. And the trappers are coming in. A minus one movement and loss of rerolls. And what's the da, 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 da. start of any turn? Okay, can't use that. Um, they have what six attacks on fours, four and six. Okay, so six dice on fours, yep, with no rerolls. Or, uh, uh, I don't have a weakness token on me. All right, and okay, no modifiers. Yep, so save it on threes. Do you want to use the vulnerable? Sure. Uh, I've got 11. 11. I said still save those. And then take takes one wound, then panic on just a normal six. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll it all. Okay. Go. All right, so it takes one more wound, so a total of two wounds. Now he's at six. I'm just going to leave two wounds on there. Yep. End around? I think that is it. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom. First player passes to you. Yep. Not and for then, much uh, longer. End of the round. Okay, so I'm I'm not controlling this anymore. Correct. You've been I have none. It. Uh, I have none. Uh, these are uncontrolled, that's uncontrolled, so yep. nobody gets a point from that, and then you already got a point from that yep. one. All right. Okay. And I reveal first. So, I'm going to do that one. I think this one's mine, yeah. Uh, so control the center objective. Okay. I'm going to play the, Steel if you're turn. behind, yeah, if you're behind, uh, get a point, 
Yeah, and then ahead. become first player. Love so it. I'll take that. Yoink. And then uh, I'm down oh. to one card, so I'm going to draw two. Same as I am. I'm start throwing turn. two. All right. Did we use this? Uh, I did not, or did I? No, I didn't because he rolled. Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, and start of a turn, I'm going to put a weakness token, I think. Or do, yeah, it's start of any turn, I believe, for trappers. Uh, they become vulnerable or weakened, so we'll make him weak. Okay, Just and with, with two pillage, you can do both. Uh, but it says target one engaged enemy. For each, I think it's for each. Pillage. For each token, uh, does it become vulnerable or weakened? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we'll drop them both on there then. Okay. No reason not to. I wonder how this list would be with Vargo. I mean, Roos is not, not terrible, mm -hmm. but being able to kill off enemy NCUs would be helpful. Yeah. I guess the only issue with Vargo is he has a lot of bloody mummer synergy stuff, and there's not a... Yeah. It's not an easy thing to, to have in your list. Um, you know, with Roos, you can always stick Ramsey in a unit and make yeah. it a... Make it a Bolton unit. And then all the Bolton units pretty much in general are good anyway. Yep, absolutely. Bloody Mummer units are a little more difficult to... I agree. I keep trying them with, like, the squirrely list with, like, Rob Stark or mm -hmm. Theon Greyjoy and stuff like that to try mm -hmm. and make some movement shenanigans, yeah. and they just don't work quite right. Yeah, and they're, just like, kind of glass, glass cannons. Uh, just trying to think of the best, best of, of bad options here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to activate Peter. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to put him on the sword, but yep. he's going to take the, uh, the bag. And I'm just going to heal three of these guys. Okay. The trappers have nothing else to do. Do right now, though that would be a good one to keep you down. So I think we're going to do that. We'll we'll keep you weak over here. So we're going to go ahead and activate. I don't have nobody to heal. I could take heal away from you just to prevent you from getting it. Yep. Which is probably not a terrible thing, and I get rid of one of my tokens. So why don't we do that? We'll be a dick. Roderick, right there. Which I could still shoot through. I don't. I like my cards. Uh, we get to remove a token. I think we are going to remove panic on them. It's probably not a bad one. Panic on them. You're coming over that wall. Yeah, panic on them. No takes you back. She's. And the wall is, you get plus one to defense, and uh, I lose my charge you bonus. You lose your re Yeah, re it's hindering. Okay. Yeah. Um, and they are a five plus armor. Going to activate these guys. Yep. And charge in before you can get away. Yep. So, Bruce, what does he have here? So, nothing special. Um, he doesn't make me panic when you charge in? No, he has uh, he has spread fear. So if you fail a panic test, ah, then I, I can yeah. panic test somebody else. There's a good chance I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, all right. Still don't get my rerolls. Um, so half, half, ah, Eddie. And now I really hope I was really hoping they would have released the. Golden Company heroes to go along with it, or heroes. Yeah, to yeah, me too. Because they they seem like they're really in dire need of of uh, of a hero of a commander. And really, I think that's the, all the, the neutral faction needs in general is a couple more commanders mm -hmm. to kind of round it out. I think it's getting pretty close to being a viable faction. Mm -hmm. And a couple more NCUs. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, we have no. They, there's no spoiled or discussed 
Neutro, Neutral Hero Box 3, so it's it's got to be sometime in 2023 if it's happening at all. Yep, I uh, agree. So it's, I think we're kind of a long way off, unfortunately. Um, do you mind a uh, start of this turn, start of any turn, I want to pop Peters once per game. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was figuring you'd be doing okay. that anyway. Yeah, uh, just so I can control the letter. Yep. So he'll do that for now. Um, they charge in. Mm -hmm. They'll hit on their highest attack die because I'm controlling a letter. And all right, so so the Golden Company Swordsmen are attacking the archers with seven dice on threes with no rerolls because I ran over the wall, sundering, and just missed two. So that's four. Oh, wait, I, I think I rolled one too few. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, because there's seven. No, yeah. uh, no, there's seven five. Seven. Oh, you do max. Yeah, I did the. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Yeah. So I just rolled another one. I got four. So right. uh, five total. Five. On um, five, right? Your sundering. Yep. Sundering. Yep. Sundering. So I'm a plus. Yeah, sundering, but then the wall also. So you yeah. set your. Yep. And I've got nothing else going on. And I'll save one. So four. And a big beefy eight. Okay, I'll leave the vulnerable. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I should I have asked that. Yeah, I won't. Uh, we got an eight, unless you've got vicious. I, oh, I have intimidating presence. There so you go. That'll one do one and plus one. So uh, three more. So three more. And then uh, I'll play Fear Keeps a Man Alive. alive. Okay. When an enemy fails a panic test, um, target any number of House Bolton units in long range for each wound caused by this panic test. Restore that many wounds total across these units. So it's nice. just this guy. So he's going to get three guys back. Yeah, and I stopped your camera. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. What do we got? What do we got? I'm going to uh, do a start of any turn. Uh -huh. Adaptive methods. That's where I can take one of my tokens and give it, give it to yep. you. Uh, since I control the letter, I will take his vulnerable and give it to who doesn't have one? They, they, they have um, one. Everybody's got him except this guy. Okay, I guess I'll give it to this guy. All right, let's take Rusi Goosey. Maybe not. Mm. Yeah, let's keep you weak, because then you're going to come back. Oh, yeah. So, Reese Goosey's taking uh, letters, okay. and he's going to use the uh, We Don't Sew okay. to make it a free attack. On seven, seven attacks. Right, who's attacking? Okay. okay. Yeah. So Victorian is attacking. Uh, seven on threes. Yep. Six. Good thing I don't have critical blow. Six on sixes since you have thundering and you're in the rear. Yep. And the uh, flank. Yeah. So take all six. And then panic on a six. six. I got nothing on you, you're good. So, uh, take a total of six. I gotta hit you before you had a chance to punch me in the mouth. Yep. Two, four, six. Get down to here. And that was a uh, that was an assault orders. Yeah, uh, we don't so. Oh, we don't so. Okay. Yep. And if my opponent has bags, which I have bags, so that doesn't matter. I guess I better activate these guys while I have them to activate. So um, I'll activate Ramsey. Yep. And I'm going to use surprise strategy, start a friendly turn. 
I can discard this card to return a card from my discard pile in my hand. God damn, you had that card a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have a lot of these uh, these cards that allow oh, you yeah. to kind of like recycle stuff from your uh, Their first discard. Edition, and they had a, you could do that same thing, but they had a heal that you could pick up like four heal at a time or something, hmm. like, something like, along those lines. It was nuts. Huh. Okay. All right. Uh, he's going to reorient himself. Yep. Just go half and half over that way. Well, hello. And since I have the letter, I'm going to use my highest attack die value. Yep. Okay, so the swordsmen are attacking your swordsmen with seven dice on threes with sundry, no rerolls. Well, good roll. Uh, yeah, not too bad. So uh, four, eight and fives, and I've got a shield on me. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, we did a lot more than And then panic on a minus one because of uh, Ramsey. He is very intimidating. Yep. This should be on a six. I will have you reroll the five with the panic token. Five. Oh, yeah, passed it. Oh, I did pass it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I was thinking there. There we go. All right. Fail. So, uh, three uh, more, two. or four more, because he has intimidating presence. And then they decreased the wound by one. Yeah. So, three. So, three. What are they normally? There's, yeah. So, three. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Fear Keeps a Man Alive, yep. which is the thing I just did over here. So, yep. these guys will get three back. And then uh, Ramsey has Fuel by Slaughter, which allows him to heal a wound when he... Um, oh, and you blew the Panic Token and you blew... Uh, I left that because you that, that one, yep. So uh, after this unit completes a melee attack, if the defender suffered any wounds, this unit restores one wound plus one wound for each of the defender's destroyed ranks. So then he'll get two from Fuel by Slaughter. So he gets yep. five levels back. Okay. All right. When a friendly unit activates, bless with stone and steel. Target one enemy engaged with them, with uh, with that unit. We're going to do this one. Uh, for each of the enemy's destroyed ranks, restore two wounds. If you own bag or sword, which I own bag, uh, plus one wound or remove a token. So I'm going to do plus one wound. So a total of three. Okay. Uh, do I, mm. I want to get rid of that. You know what? I'm going to do two and get rid of that vulnerable token instead. All right. Sounds good. We're in round four now, right? We are. Okay. Deep in. All right. And I will go ahead and uh, use Vicky's activation. Okay. And we have we own letters um, as well. I'm going to do a start of any turn, uh, if you don't mind. It's a set example with Theon. So it's where he like shrieks yep, and yep, cries yep. and makes roll everybody six. get freaked out. Yep. Alright, so he stays Good. alive, he doesn't scream himself and to death. Panic token on me. Yes, sir. So you're attacking with Victorian's unit, which is uh, five mm -hmm. dice on threes. And no other no, thundering and I own bags, so it's seven dice on threes. Bags. I mean I'm sorry, I own letters. Okay, yeah, yeah. We both have yep, it. We both have letters. Yep. Seven on threes. Just two. Okay. So five. And I am on fives. Mm -hmm. Good roll. Right, pretty good. Take three. Take two. And then good panic right. on a five. Got it. Good roll. All right. So take two. All right. Back to you. Okay. Got Tycho here, and I've got the elephant. You've got uh, Windermir left, and all of this, all that stuff. Okay.
instead of attacking with the elephant, I'm going to take Tycho and I'm going to put him on the crown. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to crown zap those guys right there. Looks so good. So they'll be at a minus two because of yep. Bruce and the crown. Need like a big ass roll. That's not going to do it. Plus one wound. Plus right? one wound, yeah. Three. And then uh, with Roos, I'll use his order, spread fear. When an enemy engaged with this unit fails a panic test, target one other enemy in long range. They suffer a panic test with minus one to their roll for each remaining rank in this unit. Uh, on a failure, it suffers plus one. So I'll have, um, I'll have. There are five. Yeah, there are five. And they already have like a token eight. on them. Um, he's a six. He can only suffer a total of two wounds. Um, I guess I'll just do it on these guys over here. Mute. Okay. Yeah. They get a so token? Uh, nope, they don't get a token. They, they take a panic test ah, all right. with minus three and plus one wound. Alright. So they... They uh, are good. I think uh, three fail. makes them an eleven. Yeah. So then they take two. Two wounds then. Huge. Alright. Alright. So we're going to do the trappers on the... Uh, have I war cried this round? I don't think so. I have so. not. So we're going to war cry the elephant then. Okay. On a five. We got it. Got it. Panicked and, and vulnerable. Four and six. Six attacks on threes. All right. Six attacks on threes. Uh, fours, actually. Six attacks fours on threes. Okay. So miss and miss. Four hits. Four. No modifiers. All right. Um, threes. Takes two, which is enough to kill him. He's only got two left. Yep. All right. All right. For the elephant. So trappers are going to make a surge action. So you get one point for that. He goes back with his brother over there. And they're going to surge out of the way and just hold that middle token. Uh, I guess we'll face that way. Elephant. Well, hello, Mr. Rusi. How are you? How are you? <laughs> and that is it for me. All right. Um, I have no reason not to do the elephant in the flank. Or okay. do I want to shoot? I don't think you can shoot with anything. You can shoot um, through you. Well, yeah, I'd have to do have something to, weird yeah, and to, all of that. Yeah. Because um, they can only shoot through there. Yep. I'm trying to figure out. I think we are going to take a maneuver with these guys and just okay. prepare for them to die. And so we're just going to get out of that. Okay. Um, you have, you're done. I'm all done. Done, done, done. So elephant in the flank. Let's right. find out what an elephant can do. And he's going to go have these. Okay. Um, so four attacks plus three, right? Four attacks plus three, yep, for my ranks. Okay, so elephant had seven, what is that, seven dice? Mm -hmm. Seven dice on threes, missed two. Uh, you get rerolls. Four. Oh, missed four. Oh, yeah, missed four. Um, got rerolls. Okay. Two. two, so that's five auto wounds. So that's there. And then these guys are taking a panic test on a minus one, two, three. So they're going from a five to an eight. And they got it. They got it good. All right, so they took, uh, what was it, five total wounds. Yep. How's it going? They were played this game before or watched it? It's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit like the original like Warhammer Fantasy and then it's the rank of mm. Every well, that would get, that would be true for everybody that uh, ever played it was a long time ago at this point. Uh, they're just going to shift over and attack. Okay. You know what? They're going to retreat because attacking you doesn't really do me any well, good. Well, you still got Wendemir who can make them retreat on the off the tactics board and then shoot. Yeah, oh, that's true. But I also want my Windy Shift. But honestly, at this point in the game, I don't think I care if they die. So let's try and do an extra wound to you. So they're going to shift over. Okay. Clear the way for Sexy Newt. Uh, what do they get? Three attacks? They have their little kitchen knives. Yep. Okay, so the uh, bowmen are... 
perform a melee attack on the Golden Company with how many dice? Three. Three? Wow, nice. Yeah. Fear me. On what? Fives? Five. Fours. Fours? Okay, nice. So uh, one. So one. Oh, yeah. All right. And okay. on a four. Ha! All right. And then uh, panic so, on a five. Good. Okay. And so let's see. They have, they killed, they fought. Right. Did you take a, there you go. Uh, they have moved, they have action. Wendy's all that's left. That's easily in there. Do I want a Wendy shift or do I want to? I think Bolton has used all of his tokens. Let's Wendy shift in and we'll tie it up for round five, which I will have the top of the round. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that. So yeah, Wendy's gonna go ahead and we'll move them five. Yeah, they do a good job of staying true to a rank and flank where maneuvering absolutely matters in everything you do. Uh, it doesn't do that. You get 360 pivots, which is nice. It makes the rule set is, what is it, 20 pages maybe? Yeah, with lots is, of big is, pictures. This is the rules right now. It's, yeah, it's a super easy, clean rule set. All the complexity is in the cards themselves. So each faction's got its own cards, which is what tailors it. And the, each faction's got a series of commanders, which further tailors that army to whatever you're looking at. First action, yep. I've got to draw cards. So we're done? Uh, I think so. I don't think you got a point for that. Um, I took the center objective with me, but I did not score it. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't count for anything. Okay. Uh, put this away. And I am first player, so I have to select a card. I guess we're just going to do this one. At the end of the round, uh, score each objective. I'll play the, if your opponent uh, takes a tactic zone before you. Like it. I almost played that myself. And then I looked at it and like, mm, that would be dumb. Well, I know. I think I had the swords and letters. I'm like, mm -hmm. that would be dumb. All right. Um, let's finally do something with them. Okay. They're going to charge in the flank. Charge? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Newt drops a vulnerable token on the unit. So they move at a five. So mm -hmm. they just need a uh, two. Okay. They're at a six and a half. Okay. All right. Good. So Newt is motivated. There you go, Newt. You have done something. And I have a weakness token on me. And I'm sorry. You mind if I work right? Yeah, go for it. Over there. And uh, you mind if Theon screeches? Yeah, of course not. All right, he's still alive. Uh, put a panicked they, on. They have a. Panic. Oh, they already have one. Well, then yeah. Theon will save his voice for another day because they're already panicked too. Yep. Okay, so uh, you successfully work right? Yep, yeah, I rolled okay. a six. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Very good. Uh, I guess let me see if I got a card to play with them, doing stuff. I can already do that, so that doesn't matter. All right, so now we go to our movement phase. We're going to start with these guys here. They're going to run. Uh, uh, none of that matters. All right, I got five whopping attacks. Okay. On fours, okay. reroll, and. Bowman, Bowman attacking in the flank. Uh, five dice on fours, rerolls, no other special shenanigans. The vol token. Okay. Reroll, and I will. Use that weekend token. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. All right. Two. Okay. So two on fives. All right. Took one. Sure. Pop it. Oh, you want to use the? Oh, they have the vulnerable. All right. All right. There. Nice. Or yep. I, ro I rolled the wrong one. You're Sorry. good. Um, it doesn't matter. So, and then panic on a minus one because you're in my flank. So they go from a five to a six. So they're good. So I'll just take one.
And at the start of any turn, I'm going to use Roderick, his last token, for the hell of it. Okay. For the halibut. And I don't care about either of those cards. So I'm dropping two and drawing three. Construction-wise, he's done a really nice job with this. Yeah. When somebody buys it as a house later, they're going to have a really weird house. <laughs> I see it as a future cult compound. Yeah, I can see that. It's highly flammable, so. Yeah. <laughs> They want to go Waco? Go on Waco? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do something a little crazy. Yep. I'm going to take Peter. I'm going to put him on the letter. Yep. Um, actually, I'll put him on the sword. And I will have him panic instead. I'll yep. have him use the crown to crown zap these guys. I like it. Right there. So they'll be at a minus one from the crown and a minus two because he has intimidating presence. Smart. Smart SMRT. You got it. All right. So that was uh, two. So it would be three total. Okay. Well, just ah, you got your heal. So I've got my fear. Fear keeps a man alive. Yep. When an enemy fails a panic test, target any number of friendly house bolt units in long range. For each wound caused by this panic test, restore that many wounds total across these units. So I, I think I can only restore one because only one wound was actually done. Um, that's going to give him one wound back and kill your guy. Yep. Point you. All right. Rushi. Oh, and Rushi. then he gets an order now on this, this thing here. So, ah, uh, yeah. Before rolling attack dice, the defender becomes vulnerable. She still got fangs. Um, what do we want to do here? Oh, and I forgot the spread fear. Uh, okay. When an enemy engaged with this unit fails a panic test, target one other enemy in long range. They suffer a panic test with minus one to their roll for each remaining rank in this unit, so minus two. You might, you know, honestly, it might have been better to hold that card that you did for the heal yeah for this test for yeah so, what's so this yeah called? that's yeah well, that's that's cool well I, yeah i probably i could have panic tested them restored more wounds mm -hmm. and then spread the fear to these guys and killed them off yep um yeah so spread fear to them they're going to be at minus two from spread fear and then minus one because of intimidating presence sounds good needing a lot that's not enough yep so uh three and then plus Four. Plus two wounds, so the five. plus plus one wound from intimidating presence, plus one wound from spread spread fear. Love so five. it. All right. Up yours, Newt. All right. So now that Newt felt like he did something, he hasn't done anything. This did he do? He did, he charged in last round, right? He charged no, in this round. This round. Yep. Yeah. Poked him for. Yep. Shanked one guy. Um. So smart taking that. So, I think, to save face, Roos is going to take horse okay. and run the Newtie away. And is he just going to... He's going to retreat. Step uh, one inch out of battle, or is he going to run oh, away, no. run away? He's, he's going this way, a little bit away, and then... Pivot over that objective. Yeah. I don't okay. even think the objective... Oh, yeah, we are scoring objectives this round. Uh, yep. Yeah. Me being SF. Oh, and uh, I took a zone before you, yep. so you get a point. And you got a point for killing somebody? Ah. Uh, yes, I think I, yeah, I already converted that one. Cool. Uh, back to you. Alrighty. So that gets them like you're a quarter of an inch away, which is just a hair. So he's going to stomp. He's going to get four dice. Let's say he hits all of them. That squashes down to him. Panic test them probably to death. Um, and then these guys are going to shoot him. Drat, he's seen my nefarious plan. <laughs> uh, 
try to stay in the game a little longer. I'm going to take Tycho, yep. put him on the bag, heal three back to these guys. Yep. And back to you. Uh, we will go ahead and assault orders with uh, Stompy. Okay. And getting who's, who's taking his? That was that's a zone replace, right? Uh, well, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Roderick. Oh no, that's Wendy. Roderick is going to take letters. Okay. Yeah. And so you now have two ranks in there. So six attacks, I think. Four, five, six. Oh, that's only on the charge. Only on the charge. So four. Yeah. No rerolls. Okay. Elephant attacking with four dice on threes. Okay. Nine inches. Like two. All right. Take two auto wounds and uh, panic on a minus one, two, three. Yep. So I go to an eight. That's short. Take two, um, four. Yep. We just got those guys. We just got those guys back. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's their activation. And I didn't activate these guys yet. Nope. And finger dance is spent. I haven't activated those guys. Nope. Well, before I get stomped again, I guess I better attack with this guy. So um, you're already vulnerable, so this doesn't matter here. And I don't own the letter, so they're just going to attack with uh, four. So swordsman attacking the elephant, four dice on. Turn to face me. If I do that, then these guys they already activated, or was that a, that was just a? Uh, they have activated already. So they can't charge you unless I've got, I do it. I, I thought I you used that. him to retreat them out. I did use him, but they charged at the top of the round. They charged in. That oh, was their right, activation. Right. Okay. Of course, retreated them out. Okay. Um, and even if I charge you, then I'm giving you armor. So you'd be at a three yeah, plus. Yeah, I'm just worried. So if I face you, I'm all I'm losing really by being attacked by this guy in the rear is minus one to my morale, ultimately. Yeah. But giving you my flank, Giving my flank to these guys, I'm getting uh, re-rolls. Yep. I'm giving them re-rolls yep. and minus one to my armor and, and minus panic. one. Yep. Yeah, so it's yeah. better if I just let the elephant like run roughshod over my guys. The elephant in the room? Yeah. So uh, they're just going to turn sideways, attack the elephant. Four dice on threes. All right, got three out of four. Uh, on a three plus? Uh, four, four plus? plus. Yeah. Two, so one. Uh, yep, so one wound. Would you want to be a reroll that? Uh, you're vulnerable? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I'll have you reroll that. Uh, Alright, so good. So one wound and uh, panic at a minus one because of intimidating presence. Okay. Seven, I think. So I think we're good. Still good, yeah. Uh, back to me, right? Yep. Um, let us take and do. Let's get Asha in there doing stuff. She's going to charge. Okay. Does she work ride this? Uh, she no, she's out of range. Of yeah, she's points. out of the range of them and they already have it. So yeah. it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, here we go. Five plus. Uh, two. I think you're good though. You're an auto in. Yeah. And they have six attacks on fours. But let's see what we got here. We do. You have swords. Yep. I have swords and bag. And bag. Look at all of them things. I'm gonna hold that. Mm, now nah, let's spend it. I'm gonna take precision. Okay. From you on and swords. Are we in round awesome. five now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we flip flopped. 
Uh, bag makes you vulnerable. Really, this is, I'm just holding it. It's not gonna okay. matter. Okay, so six, uh, six. Yep. Uh, that thing is cocked. That happens so rarely. Wow. Wow. Nothing. <laughs> Thankful re-rolls. That's a little better. Yeah, a little better. So you got what, three? Yep. All right, three in my flank. Uh, so I go from a four to a five. And I'll make one of those. All right, so I take two. And then uh, panic at a minus one. So I go from a five to a six. Good. And we'll make you re roll that five. Okay. Nice. Ha -ha! Got it. All right, so. Did your impact hit or impact hit? We're done with the charge. So now you're going to go into the combat. Okay. Uh, crap. I, I had two. Just two. Two, right? Yep. And start at your turn. I'm just going to blow their pillage and put those back on. Okay. I am going to uh, play a Flayed Man Has No Secrets. Okay. When a unit is targeted by an ability or tactics card, you may expend one condition token on an enemy in long range. If you do cancel the effect of that tar ability or tactics card, um, so you technically it's it's used. Ah, so you're, you're going to block that? Yep. Yeah, I'm blocking that. And so I'll burn a, uh, I'll burn a vulnerable off of, of yep. those guys. And these are yours, so I'm going to put them over there. Okay. I'm impressed how much I've been able to actually burn through this tactics deck. I, I've been I usually have a tr have trouble getting through all my. Well, especially with all the redraws. Yeah. So it's a, it's pretty solid. Yeah. I know I almost always le leave a game with a third of my deck still still mm -hmm. un, untouched. Yeah. The only uh, time I think I've ever burned through the entire thing is when I was playing Baratheon because they have so much card draw churn. and churn. Yeah. Uh, I think I just have one thing to go here. I've used both of my NCUs. These guys have activated. Mm -hmm. I just have uh, Mr. Ramsey over here. Yep. So. Yeah, I think he's just going to attack. He's going to attack the Swordmasters, yeah. or Swordsmen. Um, and I don't have the letter, so it's just going to be four dice. So Ramsey's attacking uh, my, golden, my Golden Company Swordsman and yours. Four dice on threes. Two, two. Uh, save one. All right. One, and then uh, panic on a minus one from the team in the presence. Looks good, I think. I will. A five normally? Um, yeah, normally a five. They'd be a six now, so I'll have you reroll the five. Six? Is six, good. so you're still good. Okay, so you just took, uh, what was that, one? One. Or, yeah, I pulled okay. off the Okay, and then okay. Uh, fueled by slaughter, he heals two. One, one plus every uh, destroyed rank. So he gets two guys back. Oh, yeah. All righty. All righty. Let's call some. All right. Let's go ahead and do that then. Uh, we're going to activate the Golden Company. Okay. We'll go ahead and use Kraken's Wrath this time. Okay. Making them vulnerable and getting precision and re-rolls. Uh, and I have letters, so I'm getting seven dice. All right, so seven with Sundering, Precision, and re-rolls. Yep. Hitting on threes. Six. Six and no, okay, no precision hits, so. No precision. Uh, six. All right, on fives, because I have uh, Sundering. Yep. Want me to re-roll those two? Right. Yeah, might as well, see if we pop the unit. Nope. Oh, yeah, so that's six, yep, yeah, so that's it for them. Oh, I forgot to even, forgot to <laughs> oh well, I'll just, uh, I'll just play this overhead view for this, this part, but they are dead. They failed. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, uh, doesn't really much matter. Uh, they'll turn, they'll, 
go and take the order and then turn around or the objective token. And then Stompy. We'll do Stompy stuff. Four attacks, no rerolls. Actually, you have a card or any cards you want to play? I do not. Okay. Um, so yeah, Stompy will do Stompy stuff. Okay. Uh, just four attacks. All right, four dice from the elephant. No rerolls. So that's three. And then um, minus three to my morale. One in one because attacking me in the, in the flank, and two because of vicious. So I'm at an eight. And they take one more, which is enough to kill the unit. That so. is game. All right, good game. Ah. <laughs> I'm so used to fist bumping people these days. <laughs> Sorry if I made you uncomfortable by uh, giving you an old-fashioned handshake. No, 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 not, not at all, not at all. It's just, yeah, weird habits these days. <laughs> the post-pandemic lives we live. Yeah. Yeah, I've always had an issue with six activation lists. Mm -hmm. That's, man, it's hard to... Yeah, you just, it feels kind of like you're just starting behind a little bit. Absolutely. Um, but I will say, it held up. Better than I expect. I expected it to go a lot worse, especially yeah. with getting two and a half rounds of free shooting off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, once these guys finally got stuck in, they're already at like one and a half ranks or something like yeah. that. And um, I think what kept them going as long as they did was the uh, like the the Bolton, some of the Bolton healing cards mm -hmm. that kept them in. Um, yeah, they lasted longer than I thought they were too. I didn't think we'd actually get to get to round five um, just the way it was it was looking but um they held in there so what went well for my army in gameplay and what went poorly i believe there was more of the latter so we'll start there beginning in round one i believe i set myself on the path to defeat by dividing my forces Instead of pairing one Golden Company Swordsman with one Elephant and splitting him into two fronts, I believe I should have kept some cohesion in my army and pushed the whole army on one side of the map. My movement was also far too slow. I began the game trying to cheese my Elephant's movement by turning their trays sideways, but this is only a smart strategy when using a unit with a free cavalry maneuver. With the Elephants, I should have just kept them pointed straight ahead from the start and begun by marching both the Elephants and the Swordsmen. This would have allowed me to reach my opponent much faster and with more united combat power. I ended up maneuvering my units forward slowly for the first two rounds, and this gave my opponent the opportunity to reorganize his forces to respond. My general's unit was shot down to 50% strength before reaching my opponent's battle lines. I believe I should have blitzed my units forward instead so that the initiative of battle was on my side. This brings us to another point, the initiative. Being down two activations did much to allow my opponent to dictate the pace of his attacks and actions, but I did myself no favors in terms of offense. The first eight attacks of the game came from Jeff. I never even attacked until round four. That's pretty insane. Add to this the fact that neither of my war elephants ever attacked all game, and you begin to see a pattern emerging. I needed to be much more aggressive in this game. I think only one of my units ever got a charge off, and when it did, it devastated a unit of Ironborn Bowmen. One of my war elephants was charged to death by Victarion, and the other was charged by two units and whittled down quickly. If they're not charging, war elephants are essentially a two-third strength unit of Bolton Black Guards at three plus defense and six plus morale. So what went well? This being my first time playing the neutral deck, I think I was actually able to make pretty good use of both the basic deck and Roos's tactics cards. I enjoyed what the deck allowed me to do, from fishing through my deck and discard pile to healing wounds based on panic damage dealt. If I'd paid as much attention to the round zero strategy as I did to my tactics cards, perhaps this game could have gone a bit better for me. I enjoyed the Golden Company Swordsman. Having native sundering is fantastic, and their ability leveraging the letter synergizes well with the neutral tactics deck. At a 5 plus panic save after Iron Resolve, the Swordsmen are fairly tanky even with a 4 plus armor save. I forgot about the panic wound mitigation of Iron Resolve throughout this, the game, but I don't think it would have made a significant difference. As poorly as I think this match went for me, I'm not through with the Golden Company in general or the War Elephants in particular. 
So apologies in advance if you're already sick of elephants, because you're going to see me shoehorn them into various armies in some of the coming videos. Greyjoys are an army I have a good deal of experience with, and Jeff played them wonderfully. He took great advantage of their tactics deck and showcased Victorian as the human wrecking ball that he is on my right flank. I thought the Golden Company Swordsman worked pretty well in the Greyjoy army, but I'm not convinced that they're a suitable substitute for some of the other 7 point options the Greyjoys have. But as the cost of admission for bringing an elephant to the party, they're not bad. I have some Greyjoy elephant lists I've been kicking around myself, so we might see me piloting one sometime in the next few games. Congrats on the win, Jeff. It was well deserved. I hope to have a rematch with you soon. That about does it for this fourth battle report on the channel. Thanks again to Goldmine Games in Richmond, Texas for hosting, and to my opponent Jeff. A big thanks to all of you for sticking around until the end, and I have every intention of continuing producing these videos as I play games locally. So stay tuned, subscribe if you like the content, and until next time, this is Randall signing off.